Let's have a look at regression in statistics. So we'll go into statistics. We're going to do some regression. Let's start with a linear regression. We're going to type in a data set. We're going to make this a nice linear data set, perfectly linear for this example. It calculates either way. Uh, notice that your frequencies are turned on and they default to 1. You can reset those by pressing Shift Setup and going down to statistics and turning off the frequency. Uh, we're going to make this a negative regression, so we'll just make it perfectly linear. We'll go into options. We're, we can calculate two variable stats. Select we've already done, edit we don't need to, so let's go ahead and do the uh, two variable calculations. Here's the information on X. Start to toggle down, there's your information on the Y's combination of x and y, maxes, mins for x and for y. So we'll toggle back out. Let's look at the regression calculation. Since this is a linear regression, our regression says that our y-intercept is 10, slope is negative 1, our correlation coefficient is negative 1, perfectly linear. The other option we have is we can do uh, stats calculations. We have a look at those. First two we've seen, the data we know, summation, variable, max and min, regression. If you would like to do a calculation using regression, we're going to take a look at that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in, I want to predict y hat when I type in a value of 5 for x. So I'm going to go in here, and I go back into my options there, go into regression. On the second screen. I want to predict what uh, y hat would be. What's the prediction if I have an x value of 5? So I type in 5 y hat. It says it's 5. We can do it the other way. Let's say you have a value of 7 and this time that's your x or your y value so that's your answer. We want to predict an x hat. So let's go ahead and do that one. 4, x hat number 4, and it calculates it the other way. Other options besides your regression, you still have your variables, your maxes and your mins, everything that we had from one variable statistics. If you would like to do a different type of regression, we'll select a different type. We can go with a quadratic using the same data set. Do the same calculation, we calculate the regression. And here's your regression for a quadratic. Notice there's no correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficients only with linear.